Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baje. Thank you for tuning in. I love you and God bless you. Today we're looking at the ministry of the Word. <laughs> the ministry of the Word of God. You know, the ministry of God's Word is so vital to the life of the believer in Christ. There is no life outside the Word of God in Christ Jesus. The Word is our life. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, the Word tells us, it says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The Word is our life. We live by the Word of God. That's the point. And so the ministry of the Word of God is the ministry that communicates the Word of God to us, that brings God's Word to us. And it comes on two platforms, primarily by the Holy Ghost, through meditation in the Word of God, and secondarily, through uh, ministry gifts given to us, to speak God's Word to us in church. Now, when you come to church, you receive God's Word, and then when you go back home and meditate on it, the Holy Spirit expounds that Word in your heart and shows you um, Jesus in that word, in your heart. You see him. And as you see him, you are translated, you are transformed, you are changed to be like him. Praise the Lord. The ministry of God's word brings the spirit word to us, brings the life word to us, brings the living word to us. The word of God that transforms. This is not mere speaking or vain words. This is uh, sharing the substance of God, the substance of Jesus, the anointed one, with people through utterance. That's what it means. You are sharing life with them. You're bringing them into the reality of who they are in Christ through um, the spoken word. You, you're, teaching, you're teaching them by the Holy Ghost. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. You, you're teaching them by the words that the Holy Ghost teacheth. That means you're bringing the life of God's word to them. You're bringing the spirit of God's word to them. And that, that is what the ministry of God's word is about. It's not a ministry of condemnation. It's not a ministry of making people feel less than who they are. It's a ministry of um, glorification. It glorifies people. You know, it brings them to the place of knowing who they are. You know, the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 1, and verse 1, it says, God who at sundry times and in diverse manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. So he spoke to them under the old covenant by the prophets. He says, have in these last days spoken to us by his son. You see, God has glorified us by speaking to us by his son. <laughs> That's honor. He's dignified us. Glory to God. So the New Testament ministry of ministering the word of God is ministering the, the life of Jesus, the power of Jesus, the character of Jesus, the thoughts of Jesus to the man in Christ. So much so that we are overwhelmed by the word of God and then we grow up by the same word. That's the ministry of God's word. Amen. So the New Testament teacher teaches by the spirit of God. He teaches by the energy of God's spirit because that's the way God can be unveiled or revealed to people. And God does not want to reveal himself to us on the outside. The New Testament ministry is God revealing himself to us on the inside. God writing his law, his will, his purpose in our hearts. And then we can act it out from within. And we, we, we are now doers of the word, not hearers only. Because the word of God has been revealed to our spirits. Glory to God. This is the ministry of the word of God in the New Testament. And listen to this, beloved. You know, whatever it is that you have seen in God's word that you will be or become, according to God's word, it's only possible when the word of God is built into your spirit. If God's word is not built into your spirit, you cannot become whatever it is that God has said that you will become. It's God's word in us that transforms us. And brings us to the place of standing like Jesus stood when he walked the face of the earth. And doing the things that he did by the strength and the energy of the Spirit of God. This is the ministry of God's word. And our existence and living is hinged 
on the ministry of the word of God in Christ Jesus. I believe you've been blessed today. So go and receive the ministry of God's word as you meditate on the word of God in your closet. And when you go to church, open your heart to receive God's word because that's what is making you and building you to look like Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And that is how you fulfill your God-given destiny in Christ Jesus. I, I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.